Hi everyone, welcome to the Commerce Academy. My name is Dwid Chandna and I am a Cloud Solution Architect at Microsoft GPS team at the US. As this is a completely new format, in this presentation I'd like to take you through the construct of Commerce Academy to provide an understanding on the prerequisites and the desired outcomes. Let's begin with understanding the Commerce Academy format. We will kick off Commerce Academy with an introduction to Dynamics 365 Commerce. Afterwards, I'll cover various setups and configurations in my Dynamics 365 Commerce environment. We have divided these into three units and you will find the details on these units later in this presentation. As a participant of Commerce Academy, you can either follow along with me if you have your own commerce environment handy or just watch me carry out these labs and complete the labs at your own pace in your own environment later on. For the hands-on labs, we will provide a lab document with details on each steps along with screenshots. In addition, we are also providing e-commerce asset files that mainly consist of media files that could optionally be used for creating your e-commerce site in Unit 2. You can find it all at aka.ms slash Commerce Academy. Before we get into details of each unit, let's understand the objectives of Commerce Academy. The main objective of this uh, Commerce Academy is uh, to create a branded e-commerce site that can be used for partner demos, which is built using uh, customer data. As seen here, we will be using Demo Fabricum e-commerce site on the, on the left and we'll convert it to AdventureWorks, uh, which is a dummy customer for the purpose of this academy. We will be learning uh, tooling basics such as headquarters, which includes channel management, merchandising, assortment management, a lot of back office configurations, and the site builder tool, which is where we will be configuring the e-commerce site, which includes online site management, page configurations, media library, etc. And finally, we will cover e-commerce extensibility topics such as setting up a development environment, creating some themes, extending module, building extension package, deploying extension, etc. So uh, now that we understand the objectives, let's dive deep into the details of Commerce Academy structure. So Commerce Academy content is divided into three units. Unit one is all about back office headquarters configurations and we will be setting up a new online store and a bunch of back office configurations. Then in unit two, we will understand the site builder tool capabilities within Dynamics 65 Commerce and configure an e-commerce site and map it with the newly created online store that we created in unit one in the headquarters. For unit three, my colleague will be joining me to present e-commerce extensibility and development aspects. While Unit 1 and Unit 2 have set steps in the hands-on labs, Unit 3 is a developer-oriented um, unit and it doesn't have any specific labs per se. However, the document provided covers each extensibility topic in Unit 3 in details. Let's look at what we will specifically be doing in Unit 1 and Unit 2. We will kick off Unit 1 by presentation on Introduction to Dynamics 65 Commerce. After that, we will dive straight into the product for hands-on. And we will begin configuration uh, um, with creating a new uh, online store and configuring various underlying parameters and the configurations for the new online store. We'll be setting up uh, payment methods for the new store. We will uh, add new online store to the organization hierarchy, which would later on be used for various uh, purposes, such as reportings, assortment management, uh, hierarchies, etc. 
that we will set up modes of delivery that are applicable for this store. We will uh, create new products and product hierarchy. This is an optional step, but uh, uh, this is up to you. You can create new products or if you're using the demo environment, you would already have some new product, uh, some existing products that you could use. We would be creating some new attributes, product attributes, which would be uh, used for uh, our uh, digital commerce or e-commerce site. We will be adding this store to the channel database and we will create a channel navigation hierarchy, which is basically going to light up uh, how the navigation appears on the digital commerce site. Then we will look into the assortment management capabilities and create some product assortments or add the newly created products to the existing assortments and associate the online store to the some assortments. Finally, in unit one, we will conclude it by running the full data sync jobs, which is gonna uh, ensure that the the cloud scale units are getting all the data and um, you are good to go for unit two. And uh, unit two will begin by again giving an introduction to Dynamics 65 Digital Commerce. We will then log into Site Builder tool and set up an e-commerce site. We will carry out a bunch of different site configurations to build the site. We will learn about how we can easily manage site content using various site builder content management system capabilities. Um, we will learn about the media library and the naming conventions around maintaining product images. We will specifically be changing Favicon uh, headers and footers and the homepage content to complete the labs to change the look and feel of the e-commerce site um, according to the customer needs. So here in this case, it's adventure works. So lastly, if we will set up a cloud point of sale, this will help us test the buy online pickup in store or BOPIS scenario, which is the final objective of Commerce Academy hands-on labs. So this completes my overview of Commerce Academy. Let's kick off unit one with an introduction to Dynamics 365 Commerce.